I hear you. All right, and we're up. Oh yeah, that's the sideboard. Uh, we've been shuffling a bit. And I assume you're just gonna tap? Yeah, you're gonna do. All right. This hand is sweet. I think I have to keep. Could be better. Now that I look at it a, a bit more, could be better. While you're doing that, or we already got it, okay. I'm just texting Brady. He's uh coming up here and I asked him to get me food and he doesn't have any money and I was Fair. like, well, would you come up here and get the money, I'll let you pay me back. Now, he's going to play my deck and I'm going to play uh, one of the one of Josh's decks just for a bit. The store you to play deck. With the, yeah, store deck. Right? This, is, this is the best art for Ponder. I will keep this. That tells you exactly which art it is. All right. We probably should have done something. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, not just oh, you get to take just, six though. turns for it now. Yeah, you, you didn't just win. You got the maximum possible. You're right. <laughs> All right. I'll go first. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right, that's good. Yes. Wait. No. Yeah. One, do you two, want a three, reminder? Four, five, six. Did I mulligan? No, not that I. No, you didn't. Okay. All right. <laughs> or I'll tell you what. That is a zero one. Spiky. You, yeah. The reason I use that is to indicate that something is happening, not to uh, actually. All right. Here we go. Oh, okay. So it's it's a D10. It is a D. Well, it's a D10 twice, if you will. There's 20 sides, but it repeats. Yeah. Good. And I'm thinking. So yeah. because I actually know the deck, I have a little bit of an unfair advantage here. <laughs> Whatever. Gemstone mine? You might want to draw the. Oh, I did. Okay. Yeah, where did that. Ah, here we are. You're yeah, not right going to use it, I will. I was just going to save it to put on the. Oh, no, that works then. Here, I'll just use this one, so. Right. I'm white anyway, so. Fair enough. Well, actually, for another reason, I'm going to say, let me use this one. You'll see in a sec. Howdy, howdy. Yes. Good to see you, bro. I'm about to duress you. Duress me. Same I'm afraid I have no legal targets. Yeah. Dear God. <laughs> Dear God. Okay. Pass turn. Uh, upkeep trigger. Yep. Draw up. Dear God, that hand. And that is why that deck is favored. Windswept. Yep. Windswept in a death and taxes deck. Correct. You have only planes. No, uh, no duels. So I'm one of 19. I know sometimes you do see that, though. You see... Dual lands to go and get Savannah so you can get Gaddock Teague or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you already run Horizon Canopy, so it's not too much of a stretch. Yeah. So, how you doing, dude? Uh, tired. Not really tired, just like, I hate my job. Uh, yeah. yeah, I feel you, dude. We were, about, we were actually just complaining about working at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really, really hate my job. I'm going to cast the Thalia. She's good. Faster. All right. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like having a job. I like having money. I really hate having that job. I feel you, dude. I'm, I'm never going to get hired at Walmart again because my talk is smack. I'll ponder, which is what I should have done last time. Yeah, you're good. Okay, we'll resolve We'll resolve it correctly. Don't let it What did you right. talk shit to your boss? No, 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 just what, talking on camera about Walmart. No, I'm just kidding. I'm also kidding, that's not it. This is actually not all that great, I think. Well, where'd Sam go? Hmm? Where'd Sam go? Peace on out. I was like, Brady will be here in a little while. Mm. He was like, hmm, stay here fall and hang out, out with you yeah. guys. Fall out. Or fall out. Uh, fall out. Priorities. <laughs> what a homo. <laughs> to be honest, uh, there was nobody here before Jay showed up. It was uh, like 7 o'clock. I was like, I can close the place and go play Fallout 4. <laughs> uh, Andrew told me he wiped his fucking character. 
yeah, yeah, I was pretty sure that was my fault, and I, <laughs> yeah. like, I felt well, really... Well, because, like, the glitch apparently corrupted all of the save file. I do not want to do so. that. Whatever. It may be, I'm just, so the debate here is there's one card in here that I can do something with, two that I'm just going to have stuck on the top of my deck in a moment, and I do not like that. But, I don't know that I have much of a choice. Do I shuffle? I think I shuffle and draw. Yeah, there's not much this deck can do, in game one at least, against a resolved Thalia. Not much. Um, sometimes there's an abrupt decay that I can go and fetch to mm -hmm. fighter. Uh, sometimes you have slaughter packs that you can go and get. Um, but, unfortunately, I am in game one, and even if I were in game two, apparently this deck lacks a sideboard for right now, which is fine. Right? Jesus. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's already seen the hand except for this card. Yep. Horizon Canopy? Yep. Spirit. Combat? Spirit resolves. Two. You have me at 18. Your turn. So you don't even have to sacrifice Aether Vile. <laughs> That's broken. Mm. <laughs> Aether Vile would be fair if you had to sacrifice it. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of just moving your whole you hand out. would be out. completely unplayable, but yeah, no, you're right. Alright. I, mean, I, I could see it being like zero mana if it was sacrifice itself. Mm. That'd be, oh god, that'd be rough. Mm. That would suck. Well, yeah, if your opponent was like, turn one, three Aether Vials and a land, fast. <laughs> Just gotta look at him and say, hmm, no shit. Volcanic Island? Yeah, that's fine. It's in one of his commander decks. I do know that. It's in his, well, at least one of them is in his, uh, Nico Bolas commander deck. Mm -hmm. I didn't experience any of the things he was talking about with the um, uh, duels being really, really cheap. Because like they were wanting to charge like 70 Lotus bucks pedal? for a Taiga. Uh, that's fine. Pass turn. And you're trying to pay a life. Floating white. Mm -hmm. This is very much not how the match is supposed to go for me. Okay, that is good. So your your big answer is you already have Spirit out, Aether Swarm Canonist, Aegis, Rest in Peace, those are probably the three. Well, yeah, any of those actually is pretty much GG for me. Sure. Neither Aegis. Does. Okay. Aegis of the Gods. And then Aether Vile is going to put another Spirit of the Labyrinth into play. Okay. Is that you? Tarpity tarp. Yeah, it's EOT. Jesus. Judge assistance! No, I'm just kidding. Why do I even feel the need to say I'm just kidding? Of course. Force of habit? Fair enough. I'll no. say, I'll say there's no judge here, bad. so you're kind of fucked either way. I know, I know. Combat? Hate you. Alright, put me to 10. For now. Pass. Lethal on the board next turn. Where? It's not a spin down. Wait, did that? It doesn't have to. You may put a charge. Oh, on. okay. Oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. That's what makes you as good. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know, first, before I go in. out, I'm going to uh, ponder, but I can't draw. <laughs> I'm going to cry, and we're going to go to the next game. Okay. I can draw, though, so I'll draw with the <laughs> camp. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but I can draw, so that's all that really fucking matters. That's part of why that's in there. Spirit and Horizon work pretty well together. Yeah, well, they do indeed. 
Do a stone forge mystic. Yay! Ta-da! Yes. And get some food, and then I'll come back and plus more. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, Cause my wife, why should you beat this one anyway, though? My wife or is going to have a one. fit if I don't get gas tonight. Yeah, let's not forget that. Just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Uh, so, by the way, I should I should let everyone know. So this sideboard does not exist. The sideboard for this deck, um, it, we couldn't find it. It was just a bunch of sleeves. Maybe he doesn't have one at all. Maybe he broke it down for parts for other decks. Maybe he's selling from it. Uh, whatever the case may be, some combination. Um, but in any case, if you see a duress in my hand, if I play a duress, it's Abrupt Decay. Um, and I also uh, added one card to this deck. I took one card of his out and added one of mine to make Abrupt Decay work. So, there's one green land here. It's a bayou. It's a bayou. <laughs> it's going to be a trop, but apparently instead of doing blue base, his are black base. Which, okay, that works. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I should have before I pulled my card. You I'm so first? used to... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll go first. Um, I will keep the same. Okay. Um, yeah, ley line is good. Wait a minute. Hello? Hey, honey. Yeah, a little bit. I'm going to play this one more game. And then I'm going to go get gas, and then I'm going to come back and play maybe one or two more. Oh yeah, I, I've already said I, be I better get gas or Chris is going to annihilate me. I'll remind him. <laughs> Cody, get some fucking gas! Specifically the fucking gas. It's better than unleaded. Word. Are we treating this as underground safe? Oh, yeah. You have before 10, right? Okay. Yeah. It was more than 20. It should have been like 33. Yeah, it's, it's in my pocket. Change in my Yeah, no, it, I got it. Don't worry. Yeah, I don't blame you. Okay, honey. I'm that you too. Bye bye, honey. Aww. The end of your turn. Flash in mom? Flash in mom, okay. So, what I was going to say earlier, I actually don't know. Abrupt Decay won't destroy that, so I don't know that I can win now. And yeah, I, I noticed that too. I don't know if you wanted to go up to two with that. If you have another <laughs> mom in hand, it works. Last turn. Mm -hmm. It's good to see three of these. Mm. 
<laughs> That's the card you want to see in this match. Uh, one at you. Eighteen. Your turn. And so the beats have begun. <laughs> oh, oh nostalgia, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So can't hit me for shit. I have an actual ability called Abrupt Decay? Slaughter. Remember, this is Abrupt yeah, Decay. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah. I'm thinking. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. She's dead. Good night, sweet prince. Past turn. And another mom. Yeah. All right. Okay, fair enough. But if I don't get rid of the mom, I can't get rid of the others, so I figured that's what I had to do. All right. Um... I really don't know how I win. Yeah, so the long, the short of it is that I try to go off sooner if I don't see the ley line. But that's not going to happen. Okay, Misty is good. Maybe this will thin my deck enough so I can draw a land. <laughs> Joy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ward. Okay. That's a cod. And that's your turn? Thinking. Okay. Thinking I'm going to combat. I'll swing two of you. Alright, have me at 16. Your turn. Probe myself. Oh, yeah, you can. Last turn. Can't look at my hand. That's right. Alright, then at the end of your turn, it's gonna be a thalia. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all four of them. <laughs> Got our little block going, or two by two. Uh, combat, two, yeah. four, five. Alright, put me to 11. Your turn. And this is why Death and Taxes is kind of good in the match. Lotus Petal. Okay. Preordain. Okay. I think the case here, though, is that I'm supposed to actually get the information from Preordain first. <clears throat> I think pretty much what we're saying right now is that Jay's deck is better put together than the one he's actually playing. No, no, it's Death and Taxes' favorite in the match. Uh, if the Storm deck can't go off before you can get a hate creature out, then the Storm deck basically should not be able to win. And in this case, the hate creature comes out on turn zero. Um, so, that's got to be my turn. I've cast my one non-artifact. Alright, so go and find the one more piece of, one, maybe two more pieces of equipment. Sword, and where's G, uh, Gite? Alright, you know, I like casting Demonic Tutor for free. <laughs> sort of. It's more, it's still Shaver's Gift. Yeah. But I mean, you pay one more mana for a 1 2. So you pay one mana for a 1 2 that has the ability to, to, to drop put, your batter skill. Yeah. yeah. Mike, drop. Batterskull drop. Imagine Batterskull comes in. Hey guys! Hey you guys! Can I be on the battlefield? Little Jerem on top is just. Hey, hey, hey! Oh yeah, hit a land. Alright. It's not gonna do me any good, I don't think. Combat. Yeah. Four. Make it six. Alright. That's one way to do it. Right, turn me to five. Uh, 
Abrupt the canonist? Oh, yeah, I can. Mother's of Ruin. Mother of Ruin. To make it pro green. Alright. Now she's tapped. Final one on the top. Can't do it. Cannot. Yep, pretty do it. well everything you needed to do it though. Yeah. This is a, a glorious hand. I'm looking for my lion's eye diamond, but Oh, there it is. Okay. So take the lion's eye diamond, go crazy from there. Yeah. At this point it just becomes rit, 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 rit. Have eighty-eight mana floating. No. Have two, four. Oh, wait a minute. Wrong way around. <laughs> Wrong, but that's why that didn't work. Have two, four, let's see, seven, ten mana. Um, play the Lion's Eye Diamond. Tutor on the stack. Lions, pop the diamond for three red. And so I have eight black and three red in the pool. Uh, use, now that I have a Hellbent, now that I'm Hellbent off of just one land, um, let's see, we already, we're gonna get, a. I think we get, is it past, it is past in flames, right? That's the one you get from this spot. You go and yeah, fetch for a past in flames, or, yeah, tutor for a past in flames. I'm trying to remind myself how this all works. All right, where yeah, are you, Past in flames will let you cast your two demonic tutors from your graveyard. That's right. As well as all your mana rocks. Mm-hmm. All right, so we flash back the past in flames, um, Putting us down to, let's say, it's, two it's red and, what was I at? Yeah, I was at eight, eight black, so two red and five black. Puts me at seven mana left, but that doesn't matter because derp, 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 derp. Add all the mana back. Um, play my cantrips again, so probe you again, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, you would get, you would pay two, well, four, actually, five, six. Actually, I wouldn't probe because I want to keep myself hellbent for... The uh, the infernal tutor, I believe. Yeah, you probably for the tendrils. Yeah, yeah. You probably infernal tutors first, and then because you got three infernal tutors. So yeah, that's true. Well, you mean infernal before I play my ramp? Well, no, you play your ramp. You need yeah, to play yeah. this stuff play first because yeah, you got to yeah. have threshold for these. That's right. And, and then is... play my tutors and go and get tendrils, which is. Well, assuming Which, that the storm count is high enough, and it should be from all this. There's one, two, three, four, five. Well, remember, I've, I've six, cast these again. So at the start of the turn, one, two, three, four. One. Also, the, the ponder is running. Eleven, Eleven twelve. Five, yeah. yeah, we're good. So as long as it's ten or greater, yeah. And then, tur yeah. So that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Um, so ponder one, two, three, four. Or, Two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, yeah, you're right, or eight, <laughs> not in that order. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ta-da! Lots of mana. Um, that's this deck when it's doing what it's supposed to do. I mean, I'm not telling anyone anything they don't know. Everyone knows. Everyone who pays a lot of attention to competitive legacy knows. I didn't know work. how to do it. Oh, you didn't? Well, no. fair enough. You also don't I'm pay there. a ton of attention to competitive legacy, though, so it's... I knew that you cast all the rituals, and then you flashed them all back, and then you cast Tendrils of Corruption. Now, Tendrils because, of Agony. Yeah. yeah, you got that. Now, uh, because he is running a black base, instead of Tropical Island, I side in a bayou here. Or, now, th this is his. He had two basic swamps, and I said, you know what? Abrupt Decay is in the sideboard of these decks for good reason, so I put in a bayou. Um, just put mine right on top. Uh, just had my trade binder here, wanted to give it a shot. Um, duress became abrupt decay, et voila. And you sighted in. Well, first of all, what you sighted out, obviously, four swords and a batter skull. That makes good sense. I have literally no creatures in my deck. It's, unless he has some in his sideboard that I have no idea about, but, you know, shouldn't. And uh, batter skull, just not the card you want for this match. You want either the, the sword of fire and ice to go and draw you a card and deal more damage. Feast and Famine to hate my combo, and untap yourself for even more hate creatures per turn, I suppose. Yeah, there's the sword. And of course, four Ley Lines, which uh, is kind of 
difficult for me to deal with. In an opening seven, you have a 39.6% chance of having at least one if there are four in your deck. So I still had about a 60% chance to have a chance that game. Yeah. But that's not how that works, of course. You needed to be able to go first and, like, thoughts face me. Without you having it. I mean, because that happens on turn oh, zero. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's correct. It goes, happens before you even start. Yeah, not much I can do about that. Dang. Abrupt won't hit it. So, you know, can't even counter it. If it hits, I mean, there's a reason why in my tutor board everything's a one of except Leyline of Sanctity. That's, it's just too good of a card. It fights too many decks too well. It is not good in Commander. No. Because in a lot of cases your, fr your enemies will try to help you in Commander. Mm -hmm. And when they're trying to make you gain life, they can't target you. It's bad. It's, not it's good. also just a card that doesn't, like when I think Commander, multiplayer Commander, not French EDH, I think you're trying to go over the top of people. And you can do that with a lot of spells, and Ley Line of Sanctity is not one of them. I think of like your Sun Scours, and, well, actually, every Wrath spell. If you're playing white, I'm running every Wrath spell in the book uh, that is mono white. Um, but like your, your Avacyns, your Emiria, or Ionas, your Elish Norns, cards like that, that it just, you know, they do the something huge, huge that win you the game. Yeah. Uh, that's why EDH, multiplayer EDH, is such a high-curve format.